It's been talked about for months. There have been false alarms, but now the challenge has arrived. Sir Graham Brady has confirmed that he has received 48 letters from Conservative MPs, so there will now be a vote of confidence in my leadership of the Conservative Party. I will contest that vote with everything I've got. Weeks spent tearing ourselves apart will only create more division, just as we should be standing together to serve our country. Delivering the Brexit people voted for. Building a country that works for everyone. I have devoted myself unsparingly to these tasks ever since I became Prime Minister, and I stand ready to finish the job. But too many of her colleagues no longer have confidence in her or her Brexit plan. This former Cabinet Minister put his letter in last night to help trigger the vote. I just felt she cannot go on pursuing flogging you know, this deal, which is dead. And then she's been off traipsing around Europe. They've been pretty rude to her yesterday, not given her anything. And we, and we just can't go on into January trying to push a deal, which I don't think is going to get through Parliament. But if miraculously it did get through Parliament, um, brings the government down. Amid all this, she still had to go to Prime Minister's questions. The Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr Speaker. And there were cheers for her, especially as she faced the opposition. Her behaviour today is just contemptuous of this parliament and of this person. Prime Minister, take responsibility, do the right thing, resign. But the voices on her own side this time were mainly supportive. Can my right honourable friend think of anything more unhelpful, irrelevant and irresponsible than for the Conservative Party to embark on weeks of a Conservative leadership election? And she was talking here about another vote, but was she thinking about tonight? However small the margin in the vote, it was the overall result of the vote that should be accepted. And in the chaos outside, her allies came to her aid. Whatever their frustrations about the past, concentrate on the future. And if we want in the future to get Brexit over the line, if we want to make sure that it is not diverted or delayed or diluted, then we should unite behind the Prime Minister and make sure we give her all our support to get the best possible deal for Britain. After the civil war triggered by Brexit, her party is about to decide if she can remain leader and Prime Minister. Andy Bell, Five News.